I wanted to come back and do a little follow-up video to the story about Ricky Griffiths, a missing man from Wayne County, Kentucky. He went missing around July the 4th of 2022, so it's coming up on a year now. I just posted a video about him recently, and I realized at the very end of that video it got cut off too soon. And I want to apologize to the families and everyone of this man that may have watched. So I wanted to come back and do a little follow-up. In recent days, our local TV stations, WYMT and WKYT, have been running stories about him. And a group from Louisiana called Cajun Coast Search and Rescue have come in here to start helping to search for him. They are focusing their search now, according to the news report that was on TV yesterday, which would be June the 21st of 2023, they're focusing their search in Pulaski County. Now, for those who may have watched my other video, you know that the family spoke about how the man that they, was their central focus of, of a person of interest had left Wayne County shortly after this man disappeared and moved to Pulaski County. So now that's where they're focusing their search and the rescue. They've brought in their canines to search and they're also searching the waterways by boat. And according to them, they believe that if they find his remains or find any evidence of him they will find it in Pulaski County. So I'm just going along with what, um, I'm just quoting some stuff that was on the video from WYMT. You can find that on the, um, you can Google WYMT.com and you can watch the story for yourself. Hopefully, sadly, I, I will say this, hopefully for the family's sake, they do find the remains because at this point they're probably looking at a murder. That's what the family has felt from the beginning. That's what the sister has talked about openly on her Facebook page. And they believe that the man was murdered. And to say that you hope they find remains is basically just saying that you hope this family gets closure in this story. It would be wonderful if they found him alive, but I don't think the family is looking for him as much as they're looking for his remains and answers because they want to be able to maybe hopefully find some DNA evidence to link someone to his disappearance and murder and, you know, get get some justice for his disappearance, for what they have been, you know, put through this past year. So I'm going to uh, just listen to the video here on WYMT and um, provide a, a little bit of detail what they have to say. So Tony Wade, who is the uh, a member of the Search and Rescue uh, Cajun Coast, has brought his canines in. He says that they have canvassed and searched an area of around 50 miles and they've been searching inside of caves and different places in the mountains and these hills here in eastern Kentucky and for those of us who are from this area know just how vast that is and um, these caves and old abandoned coal mines and other crevices and areas this is kind of where they're focusing their attention on. Another detail about this is that the um, Nancy Grace, who some of you may remember had a TV show years ago where she talked about these types of cases. She has a podcast. Um, it's Fox um, Nancy Grace True Crime Stories, I think is the name of it, or True Crimes with Nancy Grace. I've been listening to a little bit of it on iHeartRadio. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, um, Spotify. 
She's interviewed this um, Tony Wade, who, like I said, is the leader of this Cajun Coast search and rescue team. And she's going to feature this story on her um, show, True Crimes with Nancy Grace. So if any of you are interested in that, you may get more details. So Tony Wade, um, he's been on the ground. He's been here in eastern Kentucky for about a week now, and he's been speaking to locals. He, According to him, he says that he's been getting some tips and leads from people. Since a year almost has passed, I think there are probably some people out there who have known from day one what happened to this man and have probably been afraid to speak about it for fear of retaliation or something could happen to them or a family member of theirs. and But I think some people are now a little bit more willing to talk now that time has passed. And if they believe that they know who's responsible, they should come forward and speak to this man and, you know, hopefully... For to, to the police, I think he says, according to him, that more people are willing to come and speak with him because he is not law enforcement and that they're more willing to speak with him because they're hoping that it will lead to someone finding um, Ricky Griffith's body or remains. And so I just want to say I wanted to do this little follow-up. I will continue to follow the story and if any remains are found or if anything more happens or if an arrest is made or anything like that occurs, I will do another follow-up. And I just want to say to the family of Ricky Griffiths and anyone else who may have knowledge of, of his story to, um, you know, keep the faith. And hopefully this man, this team from Cajun Coast will be able to get answers and um, hopefully they get some closure and some justice in this. Thanks for watching.